to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. Chicago Tribune reports the ex-controller of Dixon, Illinois, is now accused of stealing more than $53 million from the city over the past 22 years. That is nearly twice as much as prosecutors originally believed. Britain's Telegraph says media mogul Rupert Murdoch calls a report by the parliament unjustified and highly partisan. Yesterday, British lawmakers looking into the phone hacking scandal said that Murdoch was unfit to run an international company. The New York Daily News says Princeton Review is accused of ripping off the federal government. The test prep giant was paid millions of dollars to tutor needy kids under the No Child Left Behind law. A U.S. attorney says in many cases it never gave the lessons or it submitted phony attendance forms. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reports on a fire at director Tyler Perry's studio in Atlanta. More than 100 firefighters responded last night. The fire was contained in a one building on a 30-acre complex. No one, including Tyler Perry, was hurt. And USA Today says Facebook is hoping to boost organ donations. It will allow members to link to databases where you can register to become a donor. Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg says the campaign is inspired by his girlfriend who's studying to be a pediatrician.